red trail is going to be on the sand dunes over there. Here's Lake Michigan. It's a middle woodland. Fish drying rack. Fish smoking rack. Net drying rack. Fish traps. Lake Woodland have the wigwam, the hide rack, scraping pole, birch bark moxuck, rack used for cooking. Here's a more modern area. I have a summer lodge, point making and hoeing corn. It's too early to hold corn, it's not even up yet. This time of year, trilliums are everywhere. A few violets. Along the water's edge, there's a beach. You can go play in the sand and that kind of thing. And we saw that they were doing some kayaks there. And the red trail here is the next area and it's wooded here. You can kind of see evidence of, you know, this was sand dunes, or it is sand dunes, um, but this is very wooded. See the water in the distance. But then, later on, when we get off this trail to the next trail, which is more inland, it's going to be more dry. You'll find out. Looks like we're coming up to a big sand dune. Got to walk around it. There's a flowering tree there, probably an apple or something. No, this is not an apple tree. I don't think so. It's got some star-shaped flowers. Here's some other kind of sand dune flowers. And I don't know what they are either. I'll have to take a look. Let's get close to them. Looks like some wild strawberries. Look at the moss on this. Here's access to go down to the lake, the first beach here. Oh, look at these logs. Look at these mushrooms. I suppose they were supposed to be those flat ones and... Look at them. So here's the map of the park. We started out by the nature center. We went past the first beach. We're going to continue past the third beach access. Don't know where second beach access is. Down to the end. We go on the boardwalk. Then we'll climb Old Baldy. And we'll walk back to the nature center there. Here's some kind of flowering bush here. Not quite ready yet. Here's some more. Different than the other one. Has some kind of poofy flowers on it. On this bush. And the sand dune has a, a lot of ferns coming up on the side. In horizontal, the sand dune is not. Look at the trees. Coming straight up. Except for this one. Another beach access where pets are allowed. Let's see what this sign says. Dynamic landscape. It sure is. I'm the only one down this side of the park. Calming waters from Lake Michigan. Okay, we came to the Malt Baldy area. 
We are here. Looks like the trail does go on. But we need to go see Mount Baldy. It's up a very long boardwalk. Some more wildflowers along the walk. Okay, I'm up to what looked like the platform. But no. Got a little ways yet to go. There's the end at the top of the stairs. Make sure you don't walk on the sand dunes, it's protected. Top of Old Baldy. Here you are. It's funny how the lake is always higher than the trees. One of the tall sand dunes at the western shore of Lake Michigan, 100 feet above water. So coming around this side of the trees, you kind of see the landscape is kind of changing. A different kind of mosses here. Interesting. Some animals have been here before me. Songbird paradise here. It's open area here. I believe so. There's some flowers that are coming up. I don't know. Oh, here are some new purple flowers. Very little. I don't know what they are either. I'll have to find out. They got kind of these tan uh, tannish green waxy leaves. Here's another interesting looking plant. Finally, a little Solomon seal along the trail. That's more of a late spring kind of plant. I wonder why these stumps are so orange. It's my first snake. Aren't you cute? Well, I'm at the back of this big dune again near the visitor center. Here's the start of some new flowers. Here's another new flower. Kind of a purplish white flower. So I came off the red trail and I'm on the brachiopod trail and I'm coming here because I'm hearing all this rack and I'm hoping to find some frogs. This is a wetland area as you can see. 